Living up to their reputation. Lefty teachers unions have ensured that teachers have done the least amount of work possible throughout the lockdown, meaning that our British schools are churning out students who will forever be tarnished by their limited education. Now, I'm not saying all unions are bad, and historically, unions were needed to demand workers' rights. But most jobs currently have adequate pay and protection measures in place. And modern unions essentially have become power barons who seek to hold the state to ransom, rinse taxpayers' money and do as little work as possible. Teachers' unions have been at the forefront of the plundering of our money and they have been successful at campaigning to shut down the schools and force the government to impose ridiculous Covid rules around them. Under the current rules, if someone tests positive, the whole class, bubble or year must isolate for 10 days, including their household which then translate to a paid holiday for teachers and a guaranteed membership check for the union. This combined with last year's school shutdowns have created a culture of fear where some pupils and parents are reluctant to return to school due to the union's scaremongering, showing the devastating impact from the union greed. And if you need any more evidence that the unions are now only in it for the money, let's not forget it was the teachers' unions last year between April and June who refused to go to work held the government and parents to ransom by demanding over-the-top measures were put in place before they even considered going back to work. Only then to complain about their new home teaching workload and that they had the audacity to complain that working remotely from home was affecting their home life. You could not make this up. Now, I'm particularly frustrated with this because I'm seeing firsthand the effects of these disruptive education policies and what they're doing to the kids. I personally know parents that have children who are crammed into tiny flats with multiple siblings all day, every day, and the kids are really suffering now. These parents are also struggling to get their kids to do the online teaching program sent out for them. And it's tough for them to focus, and it's easier just to let them mess around on their Xbox, mess around in the garden, do whatever they're doing. You know, the parents are juggling doing a teacher's job as well as their actual work, and it's getting tough now, and it's been over a year. It only takes one month to form a habit, and I believe we will see a drop in grades again, which will be absolutely devastating for many, many students. There is absolutely no need for most of these COVID rules in our schools. The elderly and vulnerable have been vaccinated. Sports games are being attended by tens of thousands of people. Restaurants and bars are now open. Children are the least vulnerable group when it comes to the coronavirus. So implementing policies that negatively affect them to appease the teachers' unions has got to stop. It's time to return to normal. Let kids be kids.